So I think we can say safely and fairly that COVID-19 has been one of the most challenging health epidemics of our, uh, definitely of my generation. Um, I'm wondering if you could leave Canadians with one message, how can we move forward safely? Um, also, how can we maintain our mental health living under such incredible, incredible conditions? Dr. Hill, I'll start with you. Thank you. So if I had one message to give Canadians, um, it would start with the fact that I'm proud. I'm proud of Canadians and I'm proud of what we've accomplished. Um, there's a little bit of luck, absolutely, in where we live and how the timing of the virus spread. But the reason we've done so well across the board, for the most part, is because Canadians have done what they needed to do. They followed the messaging and they've put themselves in challenging positions where they did self-isolate and they did do all the hand washing and they stayed home and they didn't interact with others. And they did that at significant financial, social, psychological, developmental costs to themselves. And that cannot be understated. Reopening the economy is massively important for all of our ongoing needs from financial perspective, from social perspective, from a psychological perspective. We cannot live in strict isolation for years. That's not a feasibility and we know that. But at the same time, as we move forward, we really need a balanced approach to make sure that safety remains a top priority and that it's feasible to both go back to something that is a new normal and stay safe. There will always be a risk out there. There will always be a way to mitigate that risk to the best of our abilities. And the key, as we've been saying all along, is to avoid unnecessary exposure, practice physical distancing, wash or sanitize your hands regularly, don't touch your face, and continue to follow public health directions. That's how you lower your risk of being infected and you lower your risk of infecting others. Dr. Murhajran. So what I would say uh, to Canadians is that um, that we we have to be intelligent about how we go about uh, the next little while uh, in minimizing our risk and uh, but also resuming our our daily lives. Um, uh, we cannot uh, stay cooped up in our homes forever, and uh, and I think that um, what we have been able to do in Canada is a success uh, story. Uh, we have flattened the curve, uh, and we are continuing to um, resume our activities in an intelligent manner. We cannot fear this virus. I think the virus is really simple. It's a simplistic thing, uh, but it can be dangerous, and we have to uh, exercise our intelligence, our collective empathy, and being kind to each other uh, as we go forward. Uh, to beat this virus. And, um, and I, I would particularly uh, send a message to uh, you know, people who cannot self-isolate, people who actually have to go to work uh, in, order to, uh, in order to serve food on their table, people who live in multi-generational homes. Uh, they could not you know, all of a sudden uh, distribute themselves into two or three homes. It is just not possible. And uh, for those people, you know, I would say, you know, uh, that all Canadians are thankful that uh, that you are doing what you are doing. And uh, and for those people who are um, who are not the essential workers, uh, who don't live in multi generational families, uh, who actually have risk. Uh, coming into this co uh, situation, uh, who may be economically, socially, racially marginalized, I would say that you know uh, all Canadians have your back. You know we we have to take care of you, uh, you and each other, and uh, and we have to continue to be an empathetic uh, country. You know uh, to to beat this virus. So, Maureen. Seeing that you have all this experience uh, working on the front lines during this pandemic, mm -hmm. if you could leave Canadians with one thing, either a message of advice or what would you say? I would definitely say be kind and be patient because the people that you're dealing with on a daily basis are trying their best 
to make this easier for you. We want to stay safe ourselves. We want you to stay safe. So what it comes down to is, you know, think beyond the end of your nose and wear a mask.